Well, Qatar is a slave state and the Qataris at this point must be very worried and we hope they are. If they want to maintain the World Cup, which now the world knows was basically uh, awarded on a corrupt basis, then they have to look to change their, their rights. They have to change their laws to afford workers' rights. You can't keep 1.4 million and more migrant workers in slave living, in squalor, working in extreme conditions under extreme heat and then keeping them trapped in Qatar when they want to leave and pretend this is a, this is a just and decent system. The kafala system must end. But I have to say, I was on the streets of Zurich last week actually working with an employer, handing out spoof newspapers about what the world might be like if Seth Blatter was a decent human being and had won the Nobel Prize for standing up for human rights. It was a great day. It happened to be my birthday. It was the best birthday ever. But last night, I actually celebrated because when Seth Blatter said last week, I've presided over FIFA for 17 years, but I'm not responsible. That was just a very bad joke. Last night, forced to resign, there was a measure of justice. Now, if FIFA is serious, if the sponsors keep the pressure up for reform, we may very well see the ultimate power we've said FIFA does hold implemented so that the, the Emir in Qatar says, I want the World Cup, I will introduce workers' rights. And then we'll work with them to deliver that justice for workers. But if they don't do that, we'll continue to fight. But when you meet workers in slavery, enslaved in the 21st century under the Kafala system, because the government of Qatar and the other Gulf states does not see these workers as equal human beings with human and labour rights, it makes you very angry. So every piece of justice we can get for those workers will count.